All right, last week we were at this job where the whole house is banging, shaking around. Water is pouring out of the steam radiator air valves. And we determined that the wet return was, return was clogged. So I got the other mic and Godzilla finishing up it's a little bit before noon. Let's take a look, see what's going on. I'm gonna catch him by surprise. So, oh, they're upstairs. If you remember, they had that inch and a quarter to <laughs> inch and a half, whatever. Oh, caught him by surprise. Godzilla, AKA Steven. So, as you see here, we got a one inch coming down. We threw in, we, we increased the wet return to inch and a quarter. So we got a purge station here, not a purge station, but to flush out. We close this valve and we can flush, usually from the opposite side and flush out the wet return. And you do that every couple of years or as needed. And we went across here, like that, to the boiler, as you can see, right there. All right, so the customer's problem, like I said, was that when the steam is on, the house is like violently, bland, the, the piping in the house is violently banging. We have water coming out of the steam radiator air valves upstairs mm -hmm. and the water just couldn't make its way back because of that wet return was clogged. So we cut open the sheetrock wall and replaced one inch with inch and a quarter. And I used L copper instead of M. Not necessary, but you know, it's not much of a price difference for me. And the total cost of the job, it's insignificant. So. so there you have it. Let's take a look at this little corner right here. And that's where that one base, uh, cast iron baseboard was. And we're repiping that in inch and a quarter. Sorry, interrupted by a phone call, but getting it done. It's Steven, such a good, dedicated employee. Look at this, so dedicated. Keeping the area clean. All right. Stay tuned, gentlemen, for more exciting video, exclusive content from Drill Instructor Mike, AKA Saint Mike. AKA Plumber Mike and Godzilla.